Hi, I'm Justice Jess, True Crime. Tonight, we have a story for Murder for Hire, a con woman and elder abuse, the Black Widow of Jefferson County. She goes by many names. Her aliases include Connie Juanita Barton, Reeb, Nicely, and Darby. She, according to our witness, was a bad seed from the start. When he babysat her, she set fire to the neighbor's house. Years later, she asked the same relative to murder her then husband, first for $20,000. When he refused, she called back and offered him 40,000. He refused again. Then she asked another individual. I am a witness to this relative's statement and the deposition to court over this murder for hire plot. Connie nicely threatened this man just recently over social media over this pending investigation. Do not eat her cooking. You don't want what's in her chili. It's to die for. By the way, her husband did die and no charges are pending. Connie Nicely has a lengthy criminal history. Credit card theft, credit card fraud, passing bad checks, stolen checks. She has spent time for some of those felonies in the Missouri Department of Corrections. Now, I'm gonna get into the case of Lyle Barton, who she says is her father, but that's not her biological father. She stole the inheritance She's also kept him from his family the last years of his life. She kept him in her home, locked away. She kept him in nursing homes and told them do not let his family have any contact with him. Um, so no one could find him. While cashing his checks, using his credit cards, selling his home, giving his car to her children, she also, um, she bought a house in his name. After he had a stroke and was in the hospital for this stroke, she closed on the house two days after his wife died. Jefferson County has not charged her for those credit cards. If the house gets sold, the bank will foreclose on it because of the lien. Connie is a dangerous person. Please beware. Have your families be aware. Do not let her cook for them. Be on their wills. Please be careful when it comes to Connie nicely. She may even be liable for a man's death. We will have much more on this case as details become available. I'm Justice Just True Crime. Please like follow and share Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you and good night.